guys like i have told you before on our videos we are looking at going to uh, etfs and i have told you about uh, cryptocurrencies because i want you guys to understand everything that is on the platform of easy equities and please do make use of the tools that easy equities have actually given us because guys trust me they have a lot of information on the easy equities platform that you can actually utilize or use to try and learn and also understand as to how to navigate the app we have done a few videos also trying to explain as to how to go about depositing your money how to go about buying shares so please do look out for those videos so you will get more information so guys we have decided that we are going to use the tax free savings account reason being like as it's self-explanatory you are not going to pay any tax if you are using this account to invest in it but they have a certain amount of money that you can actually uh, deposit or use to invest in this account a year so if you are interested in that information please do check out our videos that we did on the tax-free savings account and also explaining how does it work so guys before you start you know investing on this tax-free savings account you will have to transfer your money from your easy equity za account to your tax-free savings account we do have a video that explains how do you transfer it remember you have an easy equity za account you have a tax-free savings account you have an easy equities za usd account and also you have an easy properties za account and then also you will have your demo account of, of za and also your demo account of usd so quickly i'm just gonna dive on it and also i'm just gonna show you guys as to how do you transfer your money moving from these different accounts okay? remember i've invested the 50 bucks on purple group so now you're just going to click on this menu icon and then if you go down if you scroll down eh, you have to go to inter account transfer so just click on inter account transfer and let's wait for it to load so now here yeah, they will ask you from which account are you transferring from to which account so we're just going to click easy equity za that is have that is where we have our 250 bucks to the tax-free savings account that does not have it any money currently né? so they have some information here for you to read any amount that you deposit into tax free account will count towards your 86,000 rand annual contribution limit and a 500,000 lifetime limit you can still contribute 36,000 like i did tell you there is a specific amount that you are allowed to deposit in this account so basically uh, they are telling you here yeah, uh, there's an amount uh, that you can deposit of 36,000 rand annually so in a year that is the maximum amount you can deposit and then lifetime is 500,000 rand which is half a million so you cannot deposit more than this amount mind you this is a tax-free savings account so we'll move on and just put the amount guys that we want to transfer and then we are ready just click on agree on the terms and conditions and then if you look at here uh, let's see value at the tax cost they are not doing anything with zero so i am actually expecting to have the 250 rand full on my tax free savings account so let's just give it a few seconds for it to load and then we will see our tax free savings account as to how is it going or where is it standing so we can click on account overview yeah so you can see now the money has moved so we can click on tax free savings account bingo we have our 250 rand guys if you are interested in knowing this and also learning about this there is a lot of information at on the platform of easy equities and also we have done a video on how to transfer your money same things apply if you want to 
transfer your money to Easy Equities USD. You want to invest on companies in the US, you will have to do the same thing, and also they will convert your money into the US dollars. Né? So after diving on the research, you know, and also looking at the top performing, you know, uh, ETFs, né? they were two that kept on popping up. Né? So there were just these two that kept on popping up. So Cetrix 4D ETF, uh, the JSE code is STX4D, and also the senior ITRIC MSC i world etf so these two they just kept on popping up if we are diving on our research and also asking some people around who've been in the game for some time eh? so again if you look here on this site uh of money today.co.za they were doing a top 10 best etfs in south africa again we are getting those etfs which is citrix 4d etf and the Sydney Itrix MSCI World ETF. So they are following each other in that order. Né? So now, guys, what we need to do is just go to, you uh, can click on invest from here, wait for it to load, then just click on ETFs because that's what we're looking for. And then we are going to look for these two that we want to invest in so you can just type on your search engine like i did tell you it's s it's s t x four zero so x t f x t x four zero it pops up and then you can click on it next let's just wait for it to load so this is the current price of the uh ETF of Cetrix 40 ETF. Né? So it's currently at 70 rand 0.2 cent. Né? So I'm just going to try also and invest a hundred bucks on this one. So you just click on the left side, which is the amount of money that you want to invest. So I'm going to put 100 rand. And then click on the other side, which is the shares. So basically, here yeah, they're just going to tell you the amount of shares that you're going to get. Remember, guys, you don't have to buy the whole share. You can always buy with the amount of money that you have. So basically, they say you are buying a friction. Let me make you an example. For 10 rand, you can also buy. Né? So this is how much you will get. It's 0 0.13. Né? So stop following these guys who are telling you you need tens of thousands of rand to invest or a lot of money. Né? With as little that you have, you can always put it here on easy equities and try to invest again. So now we're just going to click on buy at open, just like what we did when we were buying Purple Group. And we should also get a message again telling us, congratulations, your buy order has been placed. We'll take care of the rest. And then we're going to move on, guys, to our next one. So our next one will be the SY. GWD. So now just go click on ETFs and then you have to go to search engine in order for you to look for the one that we actually want to invest on. Né? So it's SYGWD. Okay, let me click on ETF because I don't think I was on ETFs. And then we can put SY. There is it. Né? There is pop up with Sydney MSC MSCI World. Né? I'm just gonna take you through this uh, ETFs and explain to you guys the difference between them and also the reason why I've decided to actually invest in both of them. Remember, if you don't have the money, it's fine. You can just choose one. But I will explain to you the difference between them and the reasons why we decided to invest in both of them. Né? So now again, we'll do the same thing. We'll just put the last amount of money that we have. They show you your available funds to invest. So we're just going to put 150 bucks. Then we click on the site and then they tell us how much shares or how many shares we can actually buy. So buy it open. Same thing will happen. Congratulations. Your 
buy order has been placed will take care of the rest so now you are owning some shares from this ETF ne? so now you can see we use all the amount of money that we had ne? so now very important information that we got guys from Bloom Bank um, they actually just explain this uh, ETFs in details and one important information that I thought you guys might be interested in and also that I thought it's very important for you guys to know is the holdings you know when they speak about the holdings they basically speak about the companies or the top companies that are actually on this etf then like i did tell you guys my internet is a bit slow so please do bear with me hey guys we're just gonna dive on the information that we came across bloom bank so now don't be scared when you see this price né? we've done a video explaining this the difference between za and zek né? so i have no idea why did bloom bank use za on this one because this is actually zek so this is actually put on cent so in order for you to get the price for this you need to divide this by 100 and then you'll get the actual price in your rent so we have zek which is zoot african cent and zoot african rent so if it's put like this it's actually put on cents if you check most of your shares online you might come across these high prices and most people they actually think this might be 5593 rand which is actually not true this is actually in cents so in order for you to get this amount you must divide this by 100 so now with the signa itrix msci world etf these guys are going to expose you to international companies. So the five top holdings here, we can see it's Apple, it's Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, which is also called Google, Meta, which is Facebook, Tesla, that we all know about, owned by the wealthiest guy on Earth, which is Elon Musk. And we always tell you, invest in the companies that you are also using. You have an iPhone, you can invest in this thing. You are using Amazon, invest in this thing. You are using Google, invest in these things. Same things apply if you are using Facebook or any other stuff. Right? So hence, that is the reason why we have decided to invest on both of them. And the other one, obviously, it is also strictly South African companies. So those 40 companies that are listed or that are making you know the list of that ETF basket, uh, it is 40 South African companies. So what is nice about this is that it's gonna expose you to international markets. Like we did tell you guys, there is no pressure just for you to get this information and knowledge and try to grow with us as we are growing. Né? So yeah, we have touched on ETFs and also we have started investing on ETFs, and we always tell you guys. If you can afford to put more, it is good for you. You can always put more. But 50 rand is just basically the amount that you are just trying to put out there to tell you guys, you do not need tens of thousands to invest or to start investing. Otherwise, please do continue liking, subscribing to our channel, and also sharing our videos with the people that you think they might be interested in watching this content. Man. And also, please do drop a comment if you want to have, if you, if you have a question, or if there is something that you might be interested on. Guys, please do remember, nothing on our channel is a financial advice or must be considered as financial advice. We just share information based on our knowledge and also based on our research, personal research, like we always do, do tell you, do your own personal research. You need to have knowledge and understanding on what you're investing in and also you need to have uh, education as your foundation. Otherwise, it's on Buenavuela and Delayo.